Nigeria's strategic ability to enhance its shipping capabilities alongside efficient oil and gas production and transportation has the potential to significantly boost the economy. A leading operator in the shipping industry made the assertion in light of the uh, Nigeria's efforts to build maritime capacity. TVC News Senior Business Correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. With an extensive 850-kilometer coastline and abundant maritime resources, Nigeria holds vast potential for economic growth and sustainable development. Despite not fully leveraging these assets, there's optimism that Nigeria can still attain maritime hub status with the right policies in place. Captain Emmanuel Ihanacho, Chairman Integrated Oil and Gas Limited, points out Nigeria's limited involvement in shipping development and international trade as hindrances to its maritime progress. He is advocating for policies that promote sustainable maritime ecosystem. We have always talked about the possibility that we could actually become the hub for maritime trade in Western Central Africa, but it, we're not. Because we have done nothing, we talk about the ideas and we stop and we don't do anything about it. We should invest in ships, invest in training people who work on board those ships, support uh, local businesses so that they can actually use those ships as a, a means of generating significant value added in the Nigerian economy. In the oil and gas sector, Captain Ian Acho explains that systemic issues are impeding capacity. He cautions government to address the challenges of underperformance. We really need to do a bit better in terms of managing the resources that God puts underneath the ground for us. A lot of people are actually managing who don't have these things and they have to buy them. But for us, it's already there. Dig out the oil, we dig out half and keep the other half. You know, refine the oil locally. We can't refine it, and so we have to carry the products on ships that do not belong to us, that do not create jobs for Nigerians, but create jobs for those who work on those ships to carry the fuel to um, refineries abroad. All those things need to change. While acknowledging the Minister of Marine and Blue Economy's efforts, Captain Ian Acho emphasizes the need for inclusive participation to cultivate a fair and balanced economy. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, 